Hey there guys, welcome back to Blade and Sorcery. Today with these beautiful gents right here, I'm going to be showing you some of the cool and amazing mods that you can use for the dungeons and just for sandbox then generally if you know or know about these great but here's some of them that have been updated especially for the u10 update that guy's dead Let's get into it. So, first things first, if we go over here to the table, we have got ourselves the mod of the Shatterblade, which disappeared over there. I don't know why it's done that. So, uh, oh god. If we just, well, here is a very good question. It sort of acts like a whip itself, but when you imbue it, now with the updated U10, it gives a sort of spherical effect with the gravitational, and then if you put fire on it, it turns into a legit fire sword, which looks so freaking cool. It sort of acts like a whip when you like flail it around, like all the bits go off like this, and it's like a huge little flail whip like this. And then if you go and grab each part of it in specific areas, there is a tutorial version of this which you can grab once you downloaded the mod. It sort of acts like this, like a little defense mechanism. You can just go shoot him, people. And then go return it back to the sword, and he's dead like that! That is freaking OP. But overall, this has to be one of my favorite mods out of them. And there's nothing really else much to say about it. It's called the Shadow Blade. If you want to learn how to use it, there is a learning tutorial of it. But once you get the nick of it, it is pretty freaking to use. We have got ourselves a for here, so we're gonna go and grab this one right over here. So now, as you can guess, this is the U10 lightsaber expansion mod. So with this over here, if you download it, you will have a look at the sabers right here. And it will look something sort of like this, where you have a load of different range of lightsabers. They're a little bit different from the outer rim. This is a different person that has made this, but he has done a really good job on this, I'm not gonna lie, because when you do activate them, they're still like the Outer Rim lightsabers, which I really, really, because it is a similar modern pattern with it, I do think, but when you activate them, oh, oh my god. Okay, I didn't expect that to happen, but that's the sort of effect of what you'll get. <laughs> but, until then, we have now got lightsabers again. So, there is a lot of different types of lightsabers from the Old Republic, the movies. Like, there's a whole freaking ton of them right here. And they've got quite cartoonish effect, which I really do like, which looks like they're all the classic games. Our next mod, if we go right over here, these are the Neon Blade pack right here. So this one I specifically chose because it's based off a Samurai Blade. So if you were deciding to just like get out of your pocket, you just click A and then just go... Oh, so freaking cool. So it's pretty much just like regular weapons, but they've got a lightsaber blade added onto them. So if we go onto here to, to the exotic... So here, because this is where there will appear, you will get a lot of different weapons like this as well. As shown right here. See that? Oh. And as you can see, his arm's off right there. <laughs> Next! The mod that I'm going to show you next is a little bit different, but these are kind of two different mods bashed into one. So with this, as you've seen with a few of the different mods now, you've got Easy Decapitate, which basically makes like decapitations or like people off of weapons a lot more freaking easier. So as you can see, it does give quite of a great effect. Then the next one that is mixed with this is Enhanced Ability. And spell making. So, if I were to said, let's use a four, I just go and use this right here. That's not, wait a minute. Ah! And it really kills him. Go like that guy's neck just snapped with like one fire spell. And if we ended up getting in another person right here, 
and we use what? Well, let's say lightning. That will affect him a lot more like that. And the best part about this whole mod is, with as well, if you are lucky and you do get the more updated version for it, more or like realistic bleeding is a thing. I have made a few videos on that, but if you go and just slice, it makes realistic cuts and realistic bleeding. So if you like a little bit more guts and gore, it gives that little bit of effect to your character. So as you can see, because I cut him on the head right there, he started bleeding from his mouth or neck or wherever that hit him. Which is a really freaking cool detail, because it does add in quite a lot of immersion, and it does freaking help quite a lot. That made, that made a lot of sense. Anyways, guys. Those are some of my favourite mods right there that I have been having a lot of fun with. With the brand new u turn update of Blade and Sorcery, if you'd like to see another video covering some more mods on this in the home of Blade and Sorcery, make sure to do also as well for a bonus check, go and get the mum for you katana, because this is probably the one katana that I've actually enjoyed using, and I'll probably say I've actually not enjoyed using katanas a lot, but with the auto imbue mod, which you can also as well use. This makes a katana look so much better to use! I freaking love it! But as always guys, thank you so much for watching, my name's H Chen, and I will see you in the next one.